By this time Saturday, Virginia will have a new governor. Glenn Youngkin will hold office as the first Republican governor since 2009. As 10 News reporter McKinley Struther shares tonight, a lot of work is going into the big weekend as local politicians weigh in on what they hope this means for the future. We have less than 72 hours to go until Glenn Youngkin is inaugurated as Virginia's 74th governor. And the stage is being set for a big weekend of events. Change is on its way. I'm really sensing a great deal of excitement all across Virginia. Some leadership from Central and Southwest Virginia say they are most looking forward to a political change in the Commonwealth, while others say their aim is bipartisanship. I certainly pray that the health care situation in the state will get better. I'm looking forward to an economy that really is going to be rip roaring with less regulation and less taxes. The other is, is clearly parents across Virginia are looking forward to being more involved in their students education. And the last one is on public safety. I think you're going to see a much uh, improved emphasis and in, in looking at how we can make bring our entire state forward, uh, not just certain areas. So as the only Democrat in the House of Delegates in the western half of the state, uh, my job is to make sure that we bring everybody along and I'm ready to work with anyone uh, to help our region. The theme of the weekend, strengthening the spirit of Virginia together. The Associated Press reports there will be several dinners and receptions, along with the traditional ceremony. The new governor, he's got a first day plan uh, that I think is going to be very effective in helping all of Virginia. There's always uh, certain partisan battles that happen, uh, for sure. Uh, but what we can look forward to is working with my Republican colleagues uh, in our region. McKinley Strother, 10 News, working for you.